go up and step into a landmine. Yes, in the city, I'm talking about landmines. Conectando culturas a través del lenguaje, creando solidaridad. What's up everybody, once again, it's the Limitless Nomad, reminding you, the only true border is your imagination. Now, I've been hesitating for some time to do this, I've been in Colombia some time, but I have to tell you, watch out for these things. These are two things that really, really boil me about living here in Colombia. Are you ready? Well, let's start off with the first thing, the quick one. Always watch where you walk. Yes, watch where you walk. I know sometimes you can just walk, you know, looking up, but you have to remember to look down because what you don't want to do is... Blow up and step into a landmine. Yes, in the city, I'm talking about landmines. What are landmines? I'm not talking about the landmines that are set by military or rebels or in war zones. I'm talking about the piles of dog feet <laughs> on the walking concrete. Yes, unfortunately, unfortunately, there are lazy people, lazy owners who do not clean up after their pets, unfortunately. So, this happened to me. I was jolly, jolly, happily going about my day. And I wasn't looking down. Greeting people with no more the warm, friendly people. And I wasn't looking down. Then, I noticed a funny smell. We all know that smell. We've been there before. I looked around. I didn't see anything. And then I looked down. Yeah. I made the mistake and I stepped in something what I call a landmark. So, was it a happy thing? I had to make sure I went home, cleaned off my shoes thoroughly, the bleach, cleaning solution, and very carefully got rid of every trace of that landmark on my shoe. So, be careful. Be careful for landmark walking about in Colombia. Number two, number two, the great water deception. Okay, so I'm gonna say this because I know people are gonna take it the wrong way and they're gonna go ahead and say, uh, see, that's why I don't go to Colombia because there's no hot water. No, no, no. I'm not saying there's no hot water in Colombia. What I'm saying is, and I'll have to say it again because at the end of this video, no matter how many times I'll say it, they'll say, oh, there's no hot water in Colombia. No, I'm not saying there's no hot water in Colombia. I'm in an apartment, 20th floor, beautiful two bedroom apartment. I pay $450 a month for it. However, I have hot water, hot water heater, yes. But there's one thing you have to look out for. When you go to certain cities with year-round temperatures of 75 degrees, 70 degrees Fahrenheit plus, then you want to watch out for making sure if you're doing Airbnb, and unfortunately Airbnb doesn't give you a filter to put hot water as one of the amenities that you want. So you got to read the property details to make sure the hot water is listed in the details because if it's not listed in the details it's not going to be hot water so always make sure you check to make sure hot water is listed in the details so cities like Cali, Colombia, Cartagena, Colombia, Barranquilla, Colombia, Cucuta you got to make sure that it's hot water in the list so me not knowing this I almost fell for the trick, the great deception. 
I looked at a nice place, unit, one bedroom, you know, AC, uh, everything, you know, Wi-Fi, boom. Okay, so I said, hey, but I didn't see hot water listed. Now, from experience, I know if it's not listed, it's not there. So, I went ahead and I emailed, sent a message to the owner of the property. And I asked, they had multiple properties there. I said, hi, do you have hot water in your unit? Or do you have any units with hot water? He says to me, this is a year-round city with a year-round temperature of 70 degrees plus. We don't have hot water. Listen, man, I, I had to handle it professionally. I had to handle it professionally. Because this we don't have hot water thing, because the temperature outside is warm, ain't got shit to do with that water coming from the ground and from those pipes. Listen, listen people, whether it's hot outside all year round or not, the water is not outside. The water is not being heated up by the sun. The water is down in the ground and the water comes up out of the ground through the pipes. The pipes are cold. The ground is cold. I don't know, but if you know, but I'm going to tell you, average temperature of ground temperature, even when things got too hot, animals and people way back in the days were going to caves because it was cool, underground, protected from the sun. The ground temperature is really cool. I even went cave uh, excavating one time in Dominican Republic or Cueva Funfo, and there was a little river in the cave. That water is cold very cold now it's not freezing cold it's not ice but it's very cold it's in the lower it's not even in the lower 70s it's in the lower mid 60s so imagine you want to take a shower with mid 60 degree water it's very cold my friend no it's not freezing two things watch out for the landmines the feces of pets number two make sure your unit has hot water listed in there. Maybe you don't like hot water. Maybe you can take a cold shower. If I don't have to take a cold shower, I'm not gonna do it. If I have the option of hot water, I'll go get it. But an outside temperature has nothing to do with that water coming from the ground. I wish people would just understand that, but they don't. Every time they say to me, oh, this is a place with year-round temperatures of 70 degrees above, we don't have hot water in my unit. Well, that's my gripe.